She's a star wherever she goes. Now, Suni Lee, one of the genuine hopes for gold. With that alone, it's easy to see how important a role the two athletes have in the U.S. gymnastics scene. That said, everyone was delighted when the two athletes started competing again last year after taking a break since the Tokyo Olympics, and this year is expected to present bigger opportunities to these go-getters. You all know Simone Biles, so you probably don't need any reminding about who she is, so I'll just give you a brief rundown of what she's been doing recently. Last year, she announced her comeback after two years of being away from international competition. Two months after the big comeback, Simone won a record-setting eighth all-around title at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships at the SAP Center in San Jose, California, after performing a soaring floor routine that included a rock-solid landing, earning a score of 15.400. Simone Biles ultimately closed out an incredible comeback meet after a two-year layoff by winning gold on the balance beam and floor exercise at the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships in Belgium. There, Biles claimed a sixth world championship title in the all-around while adding team, floor exercise, and balance beam golds too. She left Antwerp with five medals, winning gold in the all-around, team, balance beam, and floor exercise competitions in addition to silver on the vault. She basically made an explosive return to the international stage at the World Gymnastics Championships after scooping four golds. With that, she now has a record of 37 medals at the World Championships and Olympic Games. Besides adding more medals to her already remarkable collection, she's the most decorated gymnast after all. She made more history by becoming the first woman to land the Yurichenko double pike vault at an international competition. Because of this, the move, the hardest vault being done in women's gymnastics right now, is now called the Biles II in the gymnastics rulebook. With that latest achievement under her belt, Simone Biles now has five gymnastics elements named after her across vault, floor exercise, and the balance beam. Simone then concluded her comeback year as the 2023 Female Athlete of the Year. Just so you know, it's the third time Biles has claimed the award, after winning it following the Rio 2016 season as well as in 2019. She has also become the sixth woman to win the AP award for a third time. Overall, after a two-year hiatus, U.S. gymnastics superstar Simone Biles is expected to vault into Paris as potentially the biggest headline act of the 2024 Games. But she does not hog all the expectations as Suni Lee is pretty up there too in the gymnastics scene. Yes, Suni Lee, the American gymnast who won three medals at the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. It was also there that she captured the individual all-around gold medal, which made her the fifth consecutive American woman to claim the sport's most coveted prize. She also earned the bronze medal in the uneven bars and led the United States to silver in the team event. But wait, there's more. Lee was the first Hmong American to compete and medal at the Olympics. Even in her youth, it was pretty obvious that she had great potential. As a child, she was always moving and tumbling around, which led her father to build a wooden balance beam in the backyard to help her focus her energy. When she turned six, she began her formal gymnastics training, and by the next year, she triumphed in an all-around competition at a state meet for only her second ever competition. The following year, she advanced through three different levels in age groups. When she turned 11, she qualified for the elite program, which made her eligible to represent the United States in international competitions. She just pretty much flourished from there, as you can see. Unfortunately, early last year, she woke up to swollen ankles, which she initially brushed off as a consequence of intense training. However, when the swelling persisted, reaching her face, legs, and hands, concerns grew. I just kept getting more swollen, and I think I gained like 40 pounds," Lee recounted. The issue traced to a non-gymnastics health-related problem involving her kidneys, prompting her doctors to advise against training and competing. By April, Lee announced the premature end of her sophomore season, citing health concerns. Despite returning to training, she faced subsequent withdrawals from major competitions, including the World Championships and the Pan American Games. It was a very difficult decision, but my health is more important and I'm not in the best shape right now," Lee explained. That we can understand and support. 
definitely no one would fault her for making such a decision. Still, it came as a pleasant surprise when, at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in San Jose in August, Lee showed up to compete against Biles. It was something fans looked forward to since it was the first time the two Olympic all-around gold medalists were in the same domestic competition. When September came, however, Lee declined the invitation to attend the U.S. team selection camp for the World Championships. But that does not mean she's given up. In fact, she is still hoping to recover in time to compete in Paris, an impressive feat considering her health issues almost ended her career prematurely. It was really scary and really, really heartbreaking, Lee admitted in an exclusive interview. I definitely went through a little bit of mental spiral because gymnastics is my outlet and it's my safe space. Well, both Lee and her fans are hoping to see her compete at this year's Olympic Games. On that note, fans will soon witness an electrifying show at the 2024 Winter Cup as Suni Lee, along with Gabby Douglas, are set to make their return to the sport. For context, Douglas took a nearly eight-year hiatus and remained dormant from the sport after securing a victory at the 2016 Rio Olympics, while Lee had to step back from the sport after suffering from a kidney-related issue. Both the Olympic gold medalists will compete against each other in the BEAM event at the 2024 Winter Cup, scheduled to be held from February 23rd to 25th at the Kentucky International Convention Center in Louisville, Kentucky. With her eyes locked on the 2024 Paris Olympics, Douglas will also be seen competing in the floor and vault events. Lee, too, will contend in the same event to get a new element named after her. Simply put, a lineup of Paris hopefuls will look to bag scores and praises alike. They would also have a fair chance to secure a spot at the World Cup in Baku, which will be held in early March. On that note, Lee is also working towards naming a skill after her the full-twisting layout Jaeger on the uneven bars. The Lee, which she has been perfecting for two years now, will finally have a home. I'm just excited because I think it'll be pretty cool having the skill being named, she said. According to Lee's longtime coach, Jess Graba, the young athlete's training schedule depended on how she was reacting that day to the medication she was taking. She's training pretty good when we can train, Graba said they're still monkeying with the medication to try to get it so she reacts the same way each day. As they're adjusting the medication, then some days aren't very good, so we have to adjust our training and sometimes we don't train that day. Simone Biles, for her part, will be missing the Gymnastics Winter Cup as she goes on vacation with her husband, Jonathan Owens. Well, she's not alone, as her WCC teammates Jordan Childs, Zoe Miller, and many others have also opted to sit out of competition. Anyhow, it would be great to see both Simone Biles and Suni Lee in Paris a few months from now, just like we're looking forward to seeing this athlete there.